One of the most powerful features in Pythagoras is also the easiest to learn. The feature we are referring to is variables. Pythagoras variables are all plain text. A variable is a placeholder in a document which will eventually be replaced with personal text. To create a variable in Pythagoras, all you have to do is enclose the words you choose to call the variable within brackets. A simple variable is plain text surrounded by plain text square brackets. In this example, client name and customer address are both surrounded by plain text square brackets. A multiple choice variable is a plain text variable containing two or more choices with the various choices separated by slashes. In this example, Federal Express, UPS, and Postal Service are surrounded by brackets and each selection is separated by a forward slash. When composing a document with Pythagoras, type the bracketed variables that you wish to use as we are doing in this form letter. In every place you want to have the ability to change data, we create our bracketed variables. And don't forget, you choose a unique name for each of the variables you will use. In this example, we started from scratch, but if you have an existing document that contains personal information and you want to convert that document into Pythagorized form, you can simply by enclosing each item of the personal text with brackets and change the personal text to a variable sounding name. The variables show their automated nature when you activate the instant database. With the recalled document on your editing screen, Press the key combination Alt-D. D stands for database, which is what you continue to build each time you go through this process. A screen pops up. Press the Scan button in the lower left, and Pythagoras quickly scans the document for all the bracketed variables in the document and displays them on the screen. For simple variables, type in the replacement value at the right. If the variable contained the word date as part of its name, a green calendar button appears. Click it and you can select a date from the calendar. If the variable was multiple choice, click the drop down list that Pythagoras has created and make your choice. Click the next button and Pythagoras will make the replacements. But first, Pythagoras will ask you if you want to save the variable to values pairings. Say yes if you think that you might reuse the data in other letters or documents. Say no if not. All done! The replacements are quickly made. Let's return to our original document and instead of not saving the values pairings, let's save the values pairings so that the variables can be used in other documents. When asked, we say yes and give our existing records a title. We will title this one John Doe. Now we can open another letter that has the exact same variables. However, they are in different places in the body of the letter. But because this letter was created with the same variables as our former letter, all we do is press Alt-D to pull up our variable menu, choose from the existing drop-down records list our saved variable John Doe, and hit Next, and the document is completed.